Hey, welcome to MechaJiki. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to increase your render speeds by adding a network render node. So here we are in our project that we just had it open in our previous tutorial, and we rendered this project on this machine over the course of eight segments with only four gardeners, and it took three minutes and 13 seconds, compared to the actual AE render, which took about four minutes and 40 seconds. So we actually want to increase that speed even more by adding a network render node. So what I want to do is actually go ahead and share my server. So my server is just a small little drive that I have connected to my machine here that is labeled as, here we go, server underscore ext. So what I want to do is go to my system preferences and share this out over SMB and AFP. So I'm going to go to sharing and I'm going to go to file sharing and then I'm going to do the plus sign and add my server at the top level. And go ahead and click add. And everything looks good there. And you just want to make sure that the credential is correct. Like, so say if it's for my account, which is Mechajiki, you just want to make sure that's in there with read write privileges. And also keep note of the IP address that you're going to be sharing this out as. So, like right now, we're sharing out at SMB 10.25.0.133. I also want to share this out over AFP. So, I want to click Options and check this option as well and say Done. And there we go. So, I have both there. So, I could close this out. Now we're going to remote into my network render node where I could be able to set up both Gardner and FFmpeg as well as connect to my server here at my laptop. So let's just swipe over and here we are on this machine which uh, we're going to call it SF26 and we're going to go ahead and actually open up uh, Chrome and we're going to go ahead and go to mechajiki.com forward slash render garden. We just want to click download and choose the Mac OS. All right, and we're going to go ahead and click open, click continue, continue, agree. And then when we get to this page, we actually don't want to install the submit script. We just want to uncheck these options and select Gardner. This is for render nodes only. I also want to install the AE pesticide and the documentation just in case if I ever need to remove any of the AE render cores that possibly get stuck on this machine, as well as go to our support page if we have to. So let's go ahead and hit continue, install, type in our credentials. Close, and we'll move that to trash. The other thing we also need to download is FFmpeg. So we're going to go ahead and go to our support page, go to FFmpeg in Python, and select FFmpeg. And once we're here, we're going to make sure to choose 3.4, Mac OS 64-bit, static, Click download build. All right, and we're going to open this, show in Finder, unzip it, go to our bin folder, and then copy that FFmpeg. And we're actually going to put it directly into applications. So paste, put in our credentials. And now we have FFmpeg in here, which is installed in the exact location as where we're going to be submitting from. Now we'll go down to the render garden folder, which will go right here and open this up. And you'll see we'll have our render garden gardener app. So we'll take this guy and we'll just drag it over to the desktop. So we have a nice little shortcut there. So we'll close out. We can close these windows. And now we're on the desktop. Now we need to actually connect to our server now that we have both Gardner installed and FFmpeg installed. And we're going to go ahead and inside Finder, you could do one of two options. You either do Command K to bring up Connect to Server, or you can go to Go Connect to Server and select that as well. And what we want to do is do AFP and our IP address. In our case for my laptop, it's 133, and hit Connect. This will come up. You'll say Connect, and just type in your credentials. So in this case, it's Mechajiki and SF. And there we go. So now we're connected. Now the one thing we need to make sure of is that our mount points are the same on both the computer that we're submitting from as well as this render node. So what you want to do to quickly check that is open up a terminal and drag and drop the server ext into here. And once you do that, you'll see the actual path, which in this case would be volumes forward slash server underscore ext. Okay, so now we're going to go back over to our MacBook Pro 
And uh, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go to terminal, take this server here, or actually let's create a new terminal window. And we're going to go ahead and actually take this guy, drag and drop it right here into terminal. So now you can see that the mount point is the exact same as the mount point that's over here. So if you find yourself that the mount point isn't the same on your render node as it is on the computer that you're actually submitting from, what you'll need to do is inside of After Effects and inside the Render Garden prefs, let's just expand this open, you just want to click on Show Prefs and make sure Increment and Save is checked. And that's only if you see that the mount point is completely different. That will fix it. All right, so now that we have everything mounted on this side, we want to go ahead and launch some Gardener nodes. So we're going to double click on the Render Garden Gardener. This Launch Gardener dialog will come up and you want to drop this down and we're going to select four for this machine. Go ahead and click OK. And then we want to navigate to our folder, which is the seed bank. So we're going to click on that and say choose. And we'll see that the created Gardener shell successfully. Click OK. And we'll just expand these out. So right now on this render node, it's currently scanning the drive that I have on my MacBook Pro and looking for any Gardener files that we had in the previous tutorial. So previously we already rendered those, they're already set to complete, so it's not going to pick those up. So what we want to do is submit a new render. So let's go back and we have this new render here and I've already changed the name to be multi-nodes and we could actually click on it and just make sure it's rendering to the same location. Say save. And now that it's checked, we want to actually submit it through Render Garden. And because we now have a total of eight procs open, four on this MacBook Pro and four on my render node, I'm actually going to increase the seed amount so that way when it gets to that third of the chunk where it's actually like slowing down, it'll be much smaller and it'll go through the renders much faster. So I'm going to go ahead and actually increase this up to, let's just say, uh, we'll do 20. Okay. So let's go ahead and rename our file from RG8 multi nodes to RG20. So we're going to go ahead and save. And we're going to go in here and hit plant the seeds. So now the seeds are created, I'm going to go ahead and start my watch. And let's see how many more Gardner processes launch. I'm currently running four, so I'm just keep that zero and reveal the seed bank. So I'm going to go ahead, drop this open, go inside here, and I can see all 20 of my seeds. And currently right now, if I pull this out, I could see that there are multiple machines uh, rendering all my seeds right now. So I currently have my MacBook Pro, which is picking them up currently right now if I open up my terminal. So you can see some of them are actually already finished rendering, and two of them are currently in the process. And then if I look, my remote machine, SF26, is picking them up as well. So let's just slide over to that machine. So as you can see, it's already picked it up, and they're currently rendering. And they're actually going through them pretty quick. So if we swipe back, we can see that all of the completed files here, especially on the right side, they keep the name of the computer that it was rendered on. So that way, if you see any problems with the completed segment, you could always look back and say, oh, it was SF26 that rendered that one. So we're going to let this finish and complete and see how much faster it is compared to our uh, previous render time. And let's take a look at our progress here. So currently all of the seeds are currently rendering and it looks like they're coming off. And right now the combine is currently rendering. And let's take a look and see which machine is actually picking that up. And it looks like it's my machine here. And it looks like that render is complete. So let's stop it. And just by adding an extra render node, as well as increasing the amount of seeds, we currently have our render time set to now two minutes and 50 seconds. So that's a pretty big increase in time. And right now we're currently rendering the MP4 and it looks like it just finished. So let's go into our output and we can take a look and see that we have our promo here with our MP4 and let's just play it back. And that is how you can increase your render speeds by adding a network render node.